why am I stressing out so much about a pet? Like, oh my gosh, like what else can you do with your life, right? Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Weko LPS, and I post two LPS videos a week. So if you're interested, and if you have not subscribed yet, then please make sure to subscribe, because that would be nice. Anyways, in today's video, I'll be opening up a really, really, really exciting little pet shop, and I cannot wait. So there is a really cool little pet shop mystery Great Dane out there, and oh my gosh, I love it. It's a mystery pet because this little pet shop was never, never, never released by Hasbro, but it was shown on some Hasbro packaging. Interesting, right? So the Mystery Great Dane actually kind of looks like a, this Lil's Pet Shop Great Dane, but the Mystery Lil's Pet Shop Great Dane has super cute freckles on its face and it has a different pattern on the face as well, and it is just such a beautiful baby. So the Mystery Great Dane is actually shown on this picture, as you can see. If you can't find it, it is in like the little purple bathtub on like the left corner. It is just so pretty, like, oh my gosh, why did Hasbro literally never release this pet? And then here's another picture, which is provided by one of my best friends, Huntress.LPS on Instagram. Please give her a follow. And she provided me with this picture, and as you can see, it is in the theme park adventures playset box as well. Look at that, like that is absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love it. And it's super cute. So interestingly enough, some people actually have this Great Dane. So it has popped up on eBay a few times like years ago and quite recently as well. But when it was on eBay quite recently, this pet was over a thousand dollars and I was like, hmm, not today. So not many people actually have this little pet of Great Dane and I truly wonder how they like showed up because Hasbro never released this pet. So so that's definitely interesting. Anyway, so recently came across a little pet shop Grey Dane on eBay, and guess what? It is the fake version of this mystery little pet shop Grey Dane. And considering that the mystery pet was sold for over a thousand dollars, um, about thirty dollars for this fake version isn't too bad. Huntress.LPS actually has both, so she has the actual mystery pet and the fake version of it. And as you can see, hmm, they look kind of different. Like the actual mystery pet looks much better, much smoother and I definitely prefer that one. But I ain't that rich and I'm not gonna pay a thousand dollars for a Lil's Pet Shop. So anyways, in today's video we will be unboxing the fake version of this mystery Lil's Pet Shop Great Dane. So this fake Great Dane was listed on eBay quite a few times and um, I specifically bought this listing because it comes with an iPad. Oh my gosh, that is such an amazing prop for literally anything and everything. I'm like super excited to open up this Great Dane but I'm also kind of scared because I've heard some people say that they only also bought like fake LPS Great Danes and they had some peg issues. As in the head is not on straight or the peg is not inserted well. So yeah, <laughs> please pray for me that mine is a-okay. So we opened up this package like a second ago because if I was gonna open it a camera you would either see my address or the one that is from the seller. So that wasn't a good idea. So oh my gosh, here's the iPad I assume. Then this necklace thing. I like that color a lot. And then here is the Great Dane and I'm literally gonna pray that it's all right but to be honest its head seems really crooked so I'm scared so usually I would start off with showing the accessories but not today because I am really nervous that my pet is not okay and like I paid quite some money for this so oof, I think it's not okay like I think oh my gosh it's in a bad shape I think or is it not oh my gosh okay I think it's I think it's actually okay. Why am I stressing out so much about a pet? Like, oh my gosh, like what else can you do with your life, right? So as you can see, the head is not like completely on well. So I'm just trying to bend it a little without trying to break it. So that is scary because I might actually break it, but I think it's in a pretty okay shape but the head is just not perfectly done but anyway let's check out the accessories and let's take a closer look at this little pet shop grading right after so the first accessory that it comes with is this necklace and it's yellow and it has a reddish pinkish diamond thing on it that's really pretty I like that a lot and then in here is the tablet iPad thing which I'm legit so excited about I don't know why but this is just such an amazing accessory and it is not one open, which is great as well. Okay, oh my gosh, it looks so realistic. Come on. Oh, they even put it in like a little bag. Oh my gosh, that is cool. 
So now how do I open this? I don't have scissors around. Wait, is this like a tear strip? <laughs> no, it's not a tear strip, so I will have to use my teeth. Oh my gosh, this is literally amazing. It is made from like, um, I don't know. Iron, what is it made of? So it is a really good material. I literally forgot the name of this, which is horrible. Like, I know it's bad, but it's kind of like iron. I don't know, like, what is it called? I really cannot come up with the word. Anyway, so it looks super realistic. So it has a bunch of apps on there. And here's this like home button. Then here's a little camera thing. Here is a, I don't know what that is. Then the actual Apple logo. And it says iPad on here. And here's like the charging port. Like it obviously does not work or whatever but it looks so incredibly good and I love this so much like oh my gosh this is literally the best accessory I could have ever gotten like oh my gosh so that's the accessory so we got this necklace thing and an iPad which is wonderful I love it moving on to the fake version of the mystery Great Dane it is super pretty but I cannot compare it to the real mystery pet because I'm not rich. We love a good close-up, so let's take a closer look. So as you can see, the Grey Dane has pink inside the ears with some white, like, I don't know, fur in it, I think it's supposed to be. Then it has this tan color going on this ear and around the eyes, which is super cool. And then the freckles, that is so pretty. Like, I love this so much. I mean, yeah, it is fake, but for a copycat of the actual mystery pet, I am not mad. Then it has really small eyelashes on both sides. Oh, and I didn't see that. So the design of like the tannish color has this weird thing here and that's where it stops. I don't know if the actual mystery pet has that once again. I cannot compare it, but I think it looks really good. I'm just not really happy about the like peg issue, but I've seen pictures of people that are Great Danes which were much worse. So maybe it's just like a manufacturing issue. I honestly do not really know, but overall I think it's not too bad. Let's take a closer look at the body so it has this white chest piece which I think is super cute and then on the front paws it has the same tan color as on the head which is a really pretty color so that looks pretty cool and on the tail it has the same tan color as well and it has a little white tip on it and it has the LPS logo which is interesting because it's fake but I mean they do that on purpose I think so people think it's real either way I really don't mind it because I know that it's fake and on the bottom it has a hole and on the belly it says 2007 Hasbro and like a code which actually all regular LPS have as well so they do really try to make it look authentic and they do a pretty good job at it I get this question a lot from people asking whenever I get fake pets what their quality is compared to a real Lilo's pet shop so let me explain it so they actually feel very authentic but their heads are usually a bit more bubbly and their material especially on their head is a little little harder and stiffer. So for example, this Great Dane, this head is kind of like squishable and it feels, I wouldn't say rubbery, but it does have like a soft plastic touch. And you can bend their legs a little and same goes for the tail. So this is an original Lilo's Pet Shop. But I do know that some real Lilo's Pet Shops have a bit of a tougher quality, so those are not like as squeezable and bendable as others. And then moving on to the fake one, I cannot squish his head. It is... A lot harder and it is kind of hard to bend so material wise they are a little harder and tougher compared to real Lilith's pet shops and yes shape wise there are definitely some differences like the paws the chest um, the mouth area but most importantly of all look at the height difference that is such a big difference. So both of their heads are now aligned. So as you can see, the fake one, which is on the right, its head is just a little taller, as you can see. It is not a major difference. And for a fake pet, I think they did absolutely wonderful. But yes, there are definitely some slight differences. And the fake one is just a little bigger and harder material. But as you guys kind of know by now, I really do not mind fake LPS. I love pretty much most of them and this is definitely going to be one of my favorites because I think it's an absolute gorgeous Lilith's Pet Shop. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked this awesome fake Lilith's Pet Shop and let me know if you think it's worth $30. In my opinion it really is, but $30 is actually quite a lot to spend on a fake Lilith's Pet Shop. But like it's not the first time that I did that, right? So uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I would love to see you in a brand new episode of Weekly Wacko on Tuesday. Bye!